here we have a damaged flash drive that came in for repair and I see a Hiroshima here. Looks like the customer did some work on the drive and he was not successful. We see three missing pads, VCC, D minus, D plus. I'm trying to figure out if we have any missing components in this area. I do see a lot of bent pins right here, but it looks like those pins do not connect to anything. And we also have a missing component here. This component does not have to do anything with read and write. Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide variety of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and much more. PCBWay is committed to meeting all your PCB needs. They offer quality on time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards starts at $5 with 24 hours turnaround. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. I mean, those pins are not making a connection, but I do not want them to short out. Maybe if those pins shorted out, they're gonna create a problem. I'm just making sure that we do not have a short between any one of the pins. And I think we should be good. Let's make sure that we have a solid connection on all the other pins. Those two, they connect to one pad. Right, and I think we should be good. Back of the board, we see nothing. We have the NAND chip right here and no other components. We're gonna have to grind this guy right here. Whatever tools I'm using here, you can purchase off our site. The grinding pen, flux, the soldering iron, and of that mini. We have the new red version. And right now we need to tint those traces. You can buy the tools at northrichfix.com, click on shop, add to cart, check out, pay, and we almost always ship out same day. We carry everything from soldering stations, hot air stations, thermal cameras, power supplies, voltage injection tool. We have everything. All right, let's use our anti-glare light. And magic. Now the customer mailed over his socket, the one that he broke, and it does not look good. Right there. We may still be able to use it, but I have one that we already wired right here. And we're gonna connect VCC ground D minus D plus and hope for the best.
and finally we have 5 volts right here we just have to make sure that those wires are not touching and I think we should be good all right so let's see we're gonna plug the drive right here I did hear the tone antivirus came up I do not see the drive yet Okay, so nothing. Let me disconnect and connect one more time. I do not know if this drive is formatted for Mac, but I'm not able to read the E drive. We do see an E drive, but otherwise you know what, let me go to disk management. And I do not see it in disk management. Nothing. Let me check on those connections quick. Make sure everything is good. Okay, so I think we're going to have to try this drive on a Mac because right now I'm not able to read anything. We do hear the tone. Our antivirus program, it comes up with the message, external drive connected, drive E, but I'm not able to read any files. Disk management shows nothing. Plug that drive right over here. Nothing. What's going on? Let's go to voltage mode. And we're going to measure right here. And we have 5 volts. Let me disconnect power. And right now, I want to measure if we have a connection from here. Meter in continuity mode. Let's see if we have a connection from here all the way to here or here. And the second one, the one right next to it, is connecting right here. So we do have a connection, no problem. Ground is good. We do have five volts right here.
We got it. We got it. Right there. Drive E. Let me disconnect and reconnect one more time. A lot of you skipped a heartbeat when I did that. Because once you are able to read the files, you should back up the files ASAP. But don't worry about it. Let me worry about that part. We're going to connect the drive. Right there. Awesome. We are able to read the files right now. I'm going to start the backup process, transfer all the files to a new flash drive, invoice, and mail this back to the customer. As you can see, shorted pins on the controller chip prevented that drive from reading. Even though those pins were not making a connection with the board, but the fact that they were shortened out prevented that drive from reading. I initially noticed the pins shortened out on that controller chip. I straightened out the pins and I thought that I got it, but we were still not able to read from the drive. I had to break off all the pins that were not making a connection with the board. And now we are able to read the files. I learned something new and you probably learned something new as well. If you have shorted pins on the controller chip, even though they are not making a connection with the board, they can prevent the drive from reading. So. We're done. I also want to thank every single one of you who subscribed the last two days. I wrote in a community post, we are at 399,054 subscribers. Let's make 400,000 happen before New Year. I woke up this morning, January 1st, and we were at 400,015 subscribers. So thank you very much. A lot of you did not even know that they were not subscribers of the channel. They thought they were subscribed and they noticed that they were not subscribed, so they subscribed. And those who did not subscribe, they also subscribe to help out the channel. A lot of you do not feel the need to subscribe because once you watch one of our videos, YouTube will keep recommending our videos, even though you are not a subscriber of the channel. But by subscribing, like I mentioned, you're not going to lose a kidney, but you're going to help out the channel and you're going to help out the algorithm. So thank you very much. We're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.